everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Motorsport Manager with the Phoenix Knights Racing Team. In the last session, victory! Our first victory of the World Motorsport Championship and we are looking today here in Japan to keep that momentum going. In the meantime, we are scouting out some new drivers. All of these drivers are new and we don't know anything about them, so we'll see if we can find some hidden gems. If not, we've got two good ones to make do with. <laughs> anyway, all of the pre-race stuff has been done. All that's left for us to do is dive in. It's going to be a sunny affair. But that didn't stop us in the last race, did it? See you in qualifying. So another practice session done and dusted and we topped the time sheets on the dry tyres. It was a wet dry session but we managed to just about get there with the preparations which is the main thing. Cloudy for the qualifying. Maybe the weather forecast was wrong. Maybe it's, it's going to rain. I don't know. Nah, it looks dry to me. It looks dry. There's a slight little glimmer of hope. Uh, super soft and qualifying trim for both cars. Setups are done. Tyres are ready. A little bit of weight stripping. Simulate the session. Will we ever get higher than fifth? Other than, other than, uh, of course, the variable weather. Will we ever get higher than fifth and sixth? Maybe. Sirikov is out qualifying Stephenson right now. Disappointing from Cruz, however. He does improve. Sirikov doesn't. Fourth and sixth. Wow. When you out-qualify a Steinman, you know it can't be that bad. Because on single lap pace, I don't expect us to be overly competitive compared to those guys due to our engine. But if we are out-qualifying them already, this is definitely a good sign. Oh, I'm happy with that. Well done, Surikov. Let's take a look at the full grid very shortly. Right, our weather forecasting centre, of course, lets us see further into the race so we can take a good look here. And it is going to be dry for pretty much the entirety. It's just the last couple of laps we can't see. So uh, it's going to be a dry one. Super soft tyres, race trim. We should be able to do three stints on the super softs, no problem. 19 laps is the race distance, which means it's going to be 7, 7, 6. Is that right? 12, 19, yeah, 7, 7, 6. 7, 7, 6 and 6, 7, 7. Uh, either or, it doesn't, really matter. it doesn't really matter right now, so um, super soft tyres can do the amount of laps we need them to do, and we'll start cruise off on uh, the 7, so give him the full lap, uh, full laps in the tank, and for Sirikov we'll start him off on the 6, oops, Okay, so 677 for Sirikov, 776 for Lissandro Cruz. Strategies. Gonna go with the. Oh, well, stick with the norm. Attack and overtake from the start. We are ready to rock and roll. So Lipponen gets pole by one tenth of a second from Johnny Navarro. The Colombian in the Steinman. We've got Balcazar with a injury here. Cracked ribs. She's managed to push it through the pain barrier and get third. A great qualifying from Nikolai Sirikov. He qualifies in uh, fourth position with Stefansson. Ah, this could be why. This could be why he's qualified a little bit lower down. He's got whiplash. And as we've heard, whiplash really, really hinders a driver. Look at that absolutely is, 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 is just decimated him so maybe we have some work to do yet 
with Sandro Cruz in 6th, and then we've got Partinen and Parisi 7th and 8th. Once again, as I said at the start of the season, I'm expecting the Panthers to be competitive now, that they've got some better drives in there, and that pushes Catano down into 10th position with Rick de Graff, who I did suspect had some kind of a debuff due to the fact that he was a little bit below par. It was confirmed in the last session when he had, we can't see it here, but he does have an issue with an exposed affair. Minus two to all starts. That's why he's a little bit below uh, form. And Makarova in the Kitano having a struggle down in 12. Our rival's not having a good time right now. Are we upset about that? Not really. So here we are, the race is about to start, the lights are on, and we are at the second race of the season. Can it be a good one? Can we get round without crashing? Let's go and find out. We're off and racing, and it's a bad start for pretty much both of our cars. Surikov manages to regain fourth, he's in fifth, he's battling with the Scuderia Rossini here. Lippinen has already gone into the bloody distance, he's already a second ahead. And uh, uh, Cruz eighth, Surikov fifth, okay, a little bit of jostling for position. It's good to see uh, the Windsors up there again. And we're swooping around the inside of the Panther, and we manage to settle down after the first lap mayhem into fifth and sixth which is exactly where we expect to be, behind both the Steinmans and the Scuderi Rossinis. Right, let's take a look at the track temperature. 30 degrees is the air temperature, which means that the tyres are going to overheat quite quickly. So we just need to be careful of that. You also need to be uh, wary of tyre wear, because we are pushing for seven laps, and they can do eight to ten, it said. It's particularly for uh, crews. I'll just turn them down to push. Keep pushing the engines for now. Okay, I think another, I think another lap of pushing the tyres and overtake on the engines, and then we'll turn it down to neutral and high. Car condition is looking not too bad. I mean, this is where we expect to be for the rest of the season, pretty much. It's in 5th and 6th, ahead of the Panthers, by some distance, and behind the Steinmans and the Scuderia Rossinis. It seems to be just where we sort of slotted in. But with some engine work, we can move forward. They will turn their engines down eventually and their tyres and then hopefully that we can just about keep up with them. Okay, we're going to just cross the line and then we're going to take stock on what's going on here. So he has to do four more laps. He has to do three, so uh, I think we're just going to turn down for now the engines and with Cruz I'm thinking we could probably do with turning down the tyres. I think he could struggle to get four more laps out of these, so we'll just give him a bit of conserve for, a, for about a lap or two. Surikov, however, should be okay. He's doing one lap less. Just got to keep an eye on Cruz's gap to Partinen. So Lippinen's in first, Navarro second, Stephenson third. We've got Balcazar in fourth. Stephenson, of course, with his whiplash. Perhaps we should put some pressure on him later in the race when he's a bit fatigued. He drips down to fourth position and into our clutches. Two more laps. Okay, sorry, I had to pause it there for a second. 
Looks like uh, Partner is just catching uh, Cruz pretty quickly, so we're just going to give him a bit more power now. Surikov should be okay. He is gaining on Stefansson. He is, he is coming in for his pit stop on the next lap. So what we're going to do is we're going to give him full juice from this point forward for his in-lap. He overtakes Stephenson, whiplash and all, and begins to put his foot down. How many laps of fuel have we got? Yeah, we should be okay there. So this is his final lap before his first pit stop. Bring him in, bringing him in. Uh, another change of super sauce. We're going to fill him up to the brim. Seven laps on this stint. As he begins to pull away. Look at that. Look at Parton and he's on a charge here. Absolutely on a charge. He is pitting now. He shouldn't pass. Serikov so going green. In he comes. Uh, there's Cruz, he crosses the line, he's still got a little bit of fuel in hand, probably can't afford to push him too much. His tyres will go into the red. Good stop for Sirikov, we'll give him a lap of pushing with both tyre and engine. There's he come out, he's come out. In 16th place, is he in traffic? Nope, he's got a clear track, that's good. Okay, so focusing now on Cruz, who is yet to be pit stop is yet to be uh, decided here. He's also going to go for another seven stint, and uh, in he comes. For the last portion of the lap, we'll put him on push. In fact, we'll give him full power here. And in he comes. Let's see if he can leapfrog Stephenson. It's unlikely, but it's not impossible. Nope. Same time. But it does appear to have closed that gap. Oh, Surikov is behind a Steinman. Just behind him. Oh. That same old annoying problem of not being able to overtake when you're hurtling down behind them at high speed. Should have been past him there. Never mind. Cruz has managed to keep ahead of Partinen for now. Partinen's on the harder compound, so this shouldn't be a problem for Cruz to keep ahead. We say it shouldn't be a problem. We hope that he will prove us correct in our assertions here. Some cars coming in for repairs. Still in fifth and sixth after the first stops. Navarro appears to have leapfrogged Lipanen. Lippinen is absolutely all over the back of him like a rash, and it looks like he is passing here. Lippinen swoops on by Navarro, reclaims first position. Look at Cruz here, he has Partinen right behind him. Hartinen is in the same engine mode as us. He's doing the same with his tyres. We are just managing to fend him off. Only just though. Considering he's on the harder compound, this isn't filling me with much confidence. <laughs> we, should, we shouldn't be struggling this much, surely. 
On the other hand, Cruz, he's uh, just dropped behind. Not Cruz. Sirikov, sorry. Just dropped behind uh, the Steinman of Stephenson now. 2.1 seconds is the gap. It is slightly coming down, which makes me think that Stephenson is in conserve mode. Yes, he is. We're just beginning to gain again. Let's take a look at how many fuel, laps of fuel we have when we cross that line. I'm beginning to think we only have to do two more laps here. Just beginning to think that while well, Stephenson's conserving, we just turn up the heat. Just turn up that heat. Turn up that heat. Balcazar's in and having repairs. That may that may bode well for us here. We may leapfrog her. Yeah, we're going full beans now. Full pushing. Full pushing. Here he comes. Sweeping through. Just, oh, come on, Surikov. Come on. Come on. Stephenson's now beginning to push himself. Navarro's in the pit for Steinman. There we go, he's passed. Oh, oh. He is passed finally. Finally gets past the ties are in the red though. Alright, final stop. Six laps of fuel going in. Suspension. Just a little bit. Need to keep an eye on that. Cruz. He's got a just over a second gap to the car behind. And he's got uh, the ability to just push it for his in-lap. Thinking, oh, is he going to forget? No, I knew, I knew. I'm just waiting, biding my time. Here we go. So, where did Sirkov come out? Sirkov came out ahead of nobody. He's behind Navarro, he's behind Stephenson. So, he hasn't managed to leapfrog anyone. Uh, is that Lippinen? Okay. Just losing track here slightly. Let me just get my bearings here. So Surikov is in fourth. He is uh, right on the back of Lippinen. Oh, it's a 1-2 now for the Scuderi for Steinman. Managed to outfox the Scuderi Rossini's on the strategy. And we got a puff of smoke there. As Lippinen no doubt pushing as hard as he can to get back past both of the Steinmans. Stephenson with Whiplash is managing to lead this race, but for how long we'll soon find out as Balcazar with her pitting for repairs has put her right down in 8th position. So there is an opportunity here for us to finish in 4th. I mean, a podium? If there's a mistake up ahead, possibly. Unlikely. But we're going to keep our cars pushing just in case. Navarro's tyres looking a little bit worse for wear. Just a little bit. Can we edge past him? He's on the harder compound also. Lippinen has swooped past both of the Steinmans and he's now retaken the lead of this race. Can Surikov make an impression? On the Steinman ahead of him. 1.5 seconds, 1.4 seconds. He is closing. Where's Navarro? What's he doing? He is in conserve mode. His tyres are fading. 
He is in conserve mode. His tyres are fading. We are gaining. 1.2 seconds. This is for a podium here. It's beginning to get exciting. One second is the gap. The gap is coming down all the time. Surikov can smell blood. In fact, both the Steinmans could be up for grabs here. We're going to go aggressive. For the last couple of laps, we're going aggressive with the tyres. Aggressive with the fuel strategy now. This is an opportunity. And a half. Cruz is too far behind. We'll keep him on as he is. But for now, Barkasas pitting again. What on earth is going on? Come on. Come on, Sirikov. Come on. I can't give you any more than I'm giving you right now. <gasps> this is so close. This is so close. Managing, just managing, 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 managing. I don't think he's going to have the pace to get past. He's caught them both, but he's not got the pace to get past. I'm going to chance it now, give him the full push now. Push, 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 push with everything you've got. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Come on, the podium is there for the taking! Yes! Yes! At the last minute he got it! He did it at the last corner! Cruz in fifth. Wow! Well done, Surikov! So Lippenden manages to get the race victory despite the strategy and the pits not working out both times in the, for both stops coming out behind the Diamonds but managing to get back past on the track Balcazar, I don't know what happened to her Nightmare race So Lippenden wins the Stefansson damn good job with his whiplash gets second position Surikov on the last corner there putting his car into third position, Navarro fourth, we've got Cruz in fifth and Partinen. We finally managed to get a gap to Partinen who faded away at the back end, De Graff in seventh. Some valuable points. So 25 points, which means that Scuderi Rossini also get 25 points. The Steinmans get 20. So actually... For the constructors' tire standings, this result suits us just fine. Sandro Cruz still top of the pile in the drivers' tire standings. Surikov with his first 15 points, moving up to sixth position. Constructors, two point gap to Steinman. And 19 points further back to Scuderi Rossini. Did I read that right? How many points did Steinman get? 18. Oh, they, get, they got 30, sorry. Steinman got 30, yeah. We got 25. So they did gain on us, the Steinmans. The Scuderi Rossini's, however, um, got the same amount of points. So all in all, not bad. Not bad. So this time we shall do all the pre-race stuff on camera. We'll kind, of, we'll kind of alternate between doing it off camera and on camera. This time we'll do it on camera. Only 1.2 million gone down the drain. Makes a change from two. We'll definitely take it. Okay, so 17 days until Beijing where there is forecast to be rain. And that's where Surikov will come into his own with his wet weather ability. 
Our forecasting centre also may be able to assist us in predicting and planning better for the strategy. I'm looking forward to it. I really am looking forward to it massively. So we've just got to progress the time. Okay, get our repair done. Let's have a look at what we need to do here. Now, unfortunately, we've slipped already behind the diamonds in the brakes department. They have developed new brakes this season, it looks like, and therefore we now have the second best brakes. But we still have the best uh, gearbox, suspension, and rear wing. So, for this race, we need engine, we need gearbox, we need brakes. So, that's what we'll focus on for reliability. So, we need brakes. We need engine and we need gearbox. I'm quite tempted actually to do that. 85 and 83% is pretty good. We do have a usable engine here. That's an improvement on the engines that we currently have. So if we can work on getting those race ready for the next couple of races, then we're going to improve our engine and therefore that's going to help our chances in the constructors is it not so I think that's what we're going to focus on we'll focus on the new engine instead 85 and 83 is good enough for now uh, so that should be that should be fine um, we've got another engine coming in a couple of days time so let's progress to see how that engine looks is it usable is the question. It's not quite ready yet. Okay, apparently it is. Where is it? There it is. And that's also usable, so we're going to do that. I'm thinking they're pretty high. We'll do that. So focus on the new engines, get a little bit more brakes done, and then we're good. We'll have two new engines. How does that actually put us in terms of the car? Okay, so we already slipped behind Windsor. All right, so we're going to build a new one. So keep building those engines. Uh, as you can see, the components appear to have changed for the engines because uh, we have really rubbish ones. Fuel efficiency improved, red zone and reliability. No performance cards for average, which is a bit of a bummer. But uh, with that, there you go. All right, top speed plus 60. That's definitely the one we need. So this is an illegal one. Which is fine. 14 days, okay. Sponsors. Fourth or above, ninth or above, or eighth or above. I'm thinking fourth or above is a little bit of a push. Just a little bit of a push. That's second or above, and that's tenth. Got some more scouted drivers here. Oh my god, he's awful. Uh, yeah, not very good. Okay. <laughs> not setting the world alight, are they? See how Valdez does here in the Asia Pacific Super Cup. Where, <clears throat> uh, where is he? He finished last, unfortunately. Oh dear. Let's just take a quick look at the parts now. 89 and 88, that's good. So uh, the high 80s there for the main parts. Now we're going to focus just on the engines until the end. Get them up as high as possible. So 
Surikoff is uh, picking up on the fact that our engine needs some work. I agree with you. We're getting there. Just give us time. We are working on it. Rubbish. Christian West? Hopeless. And we're at race day here for the Chinese GP here at the uh, Beijing circuit. Let's just take one last look at the car then, in terms of the uh, end reliability and stuff. 95%, so two new engines, which are an improvement on our previous engines. And uh, they're reliable and race ready. Our brakes are looking good, so we can do some weight stripping there, as we can with our gearbox as well. Front wing is spec, so it's just the rear wing and suspension that could do with a bit more work before the next race. But the car's coming along nicely, the development of the engines are coming along nicely. We do, of course, have our HQ, our test track coming, hopefully, sooner rather than later, 19 weeks. So, all in all, I'm still confident that we are looking good for next season to be really up there. This season, is we're, we're, we're knocking on the door. We can pick up podiums, we can pick up race wins, if the cards fall in our favour. We, we, we need to rely on, on, on some variable weather. We need to rely on some blunders, some crashes, but next season we'll be relying on our own ability. Fingers crossed. But for now, we're still happy. We're still happy. It's looking good. Let's fit these bad boys to the car. So here we go. Surikov has the better engine of the two, so we'll give that to him. The engine gap has closed, so we may have to do a little bit of tweaking with the cars, because I give uh, screws more of the better parts, because Surikov had a bigger engine advantage. But the engine advantage is now close to only 20 points. So, uh, Cruz has the better gearbox. Cruz has the better brakes as well. We also give him the better rear wing, so I think what we're going to do is we'll swap the rear wing around. And keep Cruz. In fact, no. What we'll do is we'll swap the. Mind you, he had a better. He had a better suspension, didn't he? You know what? Keep it as it was. Keep it as it was. So better engine for Surikov. Better gearbox for Cruz. Better brakes for Cruz. Better rear wing for Cruz, and Sirikov gets the better uh, suspension. Yes. Seems reasonable to me. Okay, so there you go. Uh, we're ready. We're ready for the next race at China. Join me next time. See you soon.